Today on Phil's Finds, we're taking Jordan Oaken to my favorite plant-based burger, Monty's Good Burger on Western Avenue. So this is Monty's, it used to be a Korean hot dog stand. I never right. went to a Korean yeah. hot dog stand. It's very good, but this is now a vegan burger. Yes. All vegan. Yes, plants. Vegan meat, vegan cheese, vegan everything. I, I never thought I'd like eating plants before, but I'm gonna like it now. And you've never been here? No. Are you a single or a double burger? You know, I think with, I think I'm gonna go with single. Uh, not overdo it. Are you a fries or tater tots or both? I think we have to do both. That's the rule at Monty's. That's why I love you. That's why I love you, Jordan. Since I started eating this, I think I feel like I look better because you know how old I am. Yes. I'm 87. Hi. Right. How are you guys? You look so nice. Where am I sitting, people? Is there a seat for old people? You have to unwrap a little, right. otherwise you get a mouthful of paper. Well, this is true. Right? So you want enough paper to hold it, but you don't want to bite into it. This is not just a, a, like a gimmick that they're using the Impossible Burger. They figured out how to make it so that you do seriously do not miss the meat. And everything else is perfect. One, unbelievably fresh. The melted cheese with the grilled onions is pure in and out. This is delicious. How do you feel about the tater tots ascent in the food world? It's nostalgic, I think. Right. We love what we loved when we were kids. It will never truly overtake the french fry. I think it's been proven scientifically that the french fry is the worst food for you in the world. If somebody said to you, you can live to 97 with no french fries or 95 with french fries. Is that all we're talking about, two years? Let's say. This is a no-brainer. 95. Fries. Because I don't want life without them. Modern medicine, we're living long enough. We're living long enough and can eat french fries. I personally like the tots. It's like 50-50. A lot of people are getting the mix though right now. So you get half fries, half tots. And then you That's can probably also do on the menu. something like an animal style yeah. for the fries as well. We do have a secret menu. Um, we have maxed out fries. We also have a dog pile too, which is pretty crazy. It's pretty awesome. Will you chop up the Impossible Burger on it? Yeah, two patties on top, cheese, onions, the sauce. They made that for me once. There you go. Yeah. Once. It's a beautiful mess. It's a little too delightful. It's uh, a little too delightful. Pretty wild. That's what I like about these burgers too, is you don't have that like guilty feeling afterwards, like you're full and satisfied, but it's not like the feel bad for yourself kind of. I think it's easy to claim a verdict here. This is the best vegan burger ever. Have you had a better one? It is one of the better burgers in Los Angeles. And that's really saying something considering the burger culture in Los Angeles. Success, great success. Huge success. What I like most about it is, I feel like I don't have to work out right now. I feel like no exercise today. I eat healthy. I may like this more than that. Yeah.